I'm Chris Waddell, and I'm here with 60 Seconds. We are looking at the previous day's highlights and stories. We'll be taking you through everything that's happening here in the Paralympics, a little snippet of, of what makes it exciting, of what makes the people and uh, the audience, the, the competitors, everything. So stick with us, and we'll have a great time. Obviously, Great Britain and Australia arrived at the 2008 Paralympic track cycling competition aiming to rewrite the record books. Both teams notched up three world records on day one of the competition. Britain's Aileen McLean took a second of her own world record to take gold in the women's one kilometer time trial. Together with her partner Alan Hunter, they were chasing the previous best time set by Australians Felicity Johnson, who had to be happy with the silver. Australia's Kieran Modra and his pilot partner Tyson Lawrence broke their own world record by almost one second to take gold in the men's B6 individual pursuit. The Australian pair had set the early mark only hours before, when they overtook the Spanish opponents, Christian Wenge and David Loredo, with a kilometer left in the race, they accelerated to the new world record mark, 0.8 seconds ahead of their previous best. An impressive 13 world records beaten and 16 gold medals won were the outcome of the first day of the swimming competition at the National Aquatic Center on Sunday. In the women's 200 meter individual medley SM6, Miranda Ull from the United States took the world record away from Natalie Jones, Great Britain, by winning the gold medal in 3.13.05. Ull beat her own Paralympic record of 3.16.95 in the heats. Brazilian had reason to celebrate. Daniel Diaz won the first gold medal for Brazil in the men's 100 meter freestyle S5, setting a new world record and Paralympic record in 1.11.05. Not so much to celebrate for the Brazil basketball team in their opening match of Pool B. Australia had some difficulties in the first two quarters. They had six turnovers. After halftime, they returned with a more coordinated offense. 40 seconds before the end, Brazil was leading by only one point. But then, Australians' nest sank a two point shot to give Australia the one point victory. The game's best player was forward Justin Everson from Australia. He scored 39 points of the game. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you had a great time. We'll be back tomorrow with more stories and highlights from the Paralympics. I'm Chris Waddell for Paralympic Sport TV. See you tomorrow.